fam, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely Be the fam, that's What is going on, Danger Squad? It's your boy, Moto. Guys, before we get started, I am free-handing the camera right now. I don't have a tripod that goes up high enough to the Asian Vine Snake, so that's why you guys haven't really been getting any videos of the Asian Vine Snake. So I'm going to free-hand it today, so you guys can see the little video here. Camera does not know where to lock one at. Wait to see his tongue. He'll have his tongue out and it will stay out for a little bit and then get him. And he locked on. Let's see if he's going to do it. Sorry for the shakiness, guys. All those white spots are hard water spots, guys. They're a pain in the butt. There we go. Get that locked in on him. He is eating a nose. He is a venomous snake, but he is a rear fanged venomous snake. And to humans, his bite would be no worse than like a mosquito bite or a bee sting. And obviously, if you're allergic to the venom, then you would have a, a real issue. I'm not sure if he's locked on me or them. You'll see him start to wiggle. You'll see the tongue come out. I wish it would clear out on both of them. Oh, shoot, guys. We got that close, boy. Yay, yay. Right, let's try to get this. See if we can see the fangs back there. Now this is a documentary video of feeding habits and effects of venom. Always putting that out there. Um, these snakes only eat like lizards and stuff like this. They don't eat mice or they'll eat goldfish or you know guppies and stuff. But these guys, I don't even know what it is about them, but they are like the most beautiful snake out there. Very tiny, skinny. They're like a green bean, but they can get up to like four foot long he, this one's about three foot long believe it or not now what his venom does is it actually paralyzes it and then he just swallows it down but take notice to his body so you see it's like bright green it's already starting to get some black in it now but when he swallows down it almost looks like a zebra because it had turned like white and black. It's really cool. These guys are just awesome. Man, that climbing log is right in the way. That'd be a good thumbnail right there. Let me, hold on, guys. I'm trying to get some thumbnail action. There we go. Now, right up underneath his eyes is actually where the fangs are. Again, guys, so sorry for all the shakiness. Now, when he's biting down like that, he's actually squirting some more venom in there. But, like, obviously, his head's, like, big as a green bean, so he does not have very much venom at all. He 
You got his homie chilling right here. He turned green. He's blending in with the snake himself. Man, it won't. I don't know what's up with my camera today, guys. And if you notice the tail, it's almost like it thinks that it's broken off and it very weirdly just super slow moves around. Now I have had a really, really big anole that actually broke free from the bite. But I mean, obviously he went and caught it again, but that would have been a really good video. These guys are just awesome, everything they do. Alright, so what you're going to start seeing him do is kind of walk his way down to the tip of the anole's mouth and then begin this swallowing process. So the anole is becoming paralyzed. That's what these jolts are. Oh, snap. This other node just went tripping. Sorry for all that noise, guys. That's the mice. They are drinking away. Staying hydrated. Now these guys, they typically ends up being a fairly long video, especially with the first one because it takes a while for them to swallow. But once they do the first one and they go to eat the second one, it just kind of like slithers down like a little noodle. A little spicy noodle, guys. And that's what she said. After the first one, they all feel the same, right? Got him. And you got his homie over here, here in the cut, just checking him out like, man, what's up with my broski up there? We were supposed to go to the club. I'm gonna get more so in that general area. If I could get my tripod up here, it would be able to focus so much more, guys. I do, again, apologize for that. Let's see if we can go in this area. I haven't freehanded since the beginning of my old channel. Your videos are so much better when you use a tripod. Yeah, buddy. Look at that old man. His eye looks not so good. There we go. Check out that smile, man. Who doggy? Moto Jr. is here, but I think he's getting ready to fall asleep. Alright, the lizard looks like he is knocked out. So now 
he's trying to carry him away. Because he does see me and he sees me as a possible threat. And he is most vulnerable when he has his prey in his mouth because then he can't defend himself. But obviously he sees me almost every day, so... He kind of knows, but he still has that instinct of, like, anything can get me. Hey, yo. See the no? It's alive. It just can't move. Now, it's kind of interesting how long that venom takes to affect. If anybody knows the venom type of these guys, comment in the comments. Ooh. I just missed some fang action, guys. I'm over here messing around. Oh, you see that? You see him? Yeah, boy. You got some mean teeth on the bottom, too. Sorry about all that noise. Let's see if we can get up underneath here. There we go. I walk you through everything you guys see. I know these animals. I'll let you know what to look for. Look at those, man. They're like shark-like teeth, man. Just pointing backwards. If Pert wants to praise in there, it's very, very hard for them to get back out. Especially what, like, risk an injury. his body as he walks it by. See the white starting to pop out in between the scales? Yeah, we see you, broski. Don't worry. Be cool. Be cool. I ain't messing with you. Now the fangs right behind the eye are, I believe, the ones that inject the venom. The other ones are just ones to hold on. He's going to sit here and walk the back of this like a Gaboon Viper. You know, minus having super small fangs, like maybe like a couple millimeters long. Guys, this is a spicy noodle eating a spicy noodle. Habanero. All right, see the scale separating? That's that's what I was talking about. You'll see a lot of white and black. The green almost disappears like. So let me zoom out here. There we go. Get a little bit of a clearer picture. I just wanted to showcase the fangs for you because I know it's not very often that somebody catches them.
right, guys, we just hit 15 minutes on this video. I'm actually going to back out. Um, basically, what you see is right there, then you can kind of follow it back till it gets to the thicker part of the snake, which is really decent. Uh, next time, we'll definitely showcase that. I'll act, I'm going to have to reposition the enclosure so where I can actually film better. But, guys, thank you so much for watching, and you guys know the deal. I will catch you on the next one.